Hi, hello, hi. So today, really quick topic. Don't know if I'll make a full video about this or if this will be just a video reminder to me about making this topic. I want to talk about productivity. I know I've talked about that a bit in the past, but specifically about being creative and remaining productive in creations. I don't know. I think that's exactly what I just said, but in different words. All right, cool. So. The reason why I want to talk about this is because it's something I dealt with a lot and it is something that still kind of scares me and makes me paranoid to this day. And it's when you kind of hit this like dry spell with your creations, whether they be art or videos or music, anything. Kind of falling into a rut where you don't make things anymore and why that happened to me and what has helped me. So as you could probably see on my channel, I went a couple months where I didn't upload and I think this happened like twice where I would fall into an upload pattern and then I would just stop and it was for a lot of reasons. I mean firstly I just lacked the actual equipment to quickly and efficiently edit my videos so it made editing videos much more difficult but regardless even after the fact I still had a lot of difficulty filming videos and editing them and what do I do to not do that? I'll get back into why that happened but I want to just address what I do now and what my creative process, I guess, is right now so that I don't fall behind. So I think once I was watching like Game Grumps or something like that and they talked about this like don't break the chain theory, which I think came from Jerry Seinfeld, but honestly, honestly, I might be making all of this up. I don't know where I got this information from. Anyway, there's this like don't break the chain theory and from what I remember, if it was Jerry Seinfeld that I heard of on Game Grumps, it was that he writes a joke every single day of the year and the idea is by never breaking the chain, you never stop being productive. And that really resonated with me in a lot of ways. That's all I know about that theory, so I'm just gonna go off on why it applied to me. It made me realize that when I go long periods without making something, not only does anxiety set me back, I think it is just anxiety, but it's just it just starts to feel like impossible. I realized that it's not that editing my videos is particularly difficult. Part of it is almost self-loathing um, and perfectionism. I don't like rewatching my videos, especially if they're older, because you learn something new every day, and every day I learn new ways to say things, and I'm better than I was the day before, and then if I go back and I edit a video that I filmed like a month ago, I'm like, oh man, I just, I don't like the way I said this, I wish I could say this differently now. But then it's like, well, I don't want to refilm this because I already have all these other videos to catch up on. And then it, that's just the cycle. The cycle is, well, I have videos filmed that I should edit, but I can't edit them because they're so old, and then now I don't remember what I was saying in that video, so like, usually if I film for like 20 minutes, I could cut that easily down to like a 10 minute video because I know where to skip over things. I know where I'm rambling. I just, I could remember what's in the video. I don't need to watch it through again. Whereas if I wait too long, I need to watch it through again. So the don't break the chain has helped me in that sense in that I don't fall behind on things as much. So a task remains small and easy to conquer. Whereas when I wait longer, it, it becomes like actually more difficult to do because like I said, let's say with a video, I need to rewatch the whole video, which is time consuming. And then I need to edit it and I don't have in mind exactly what I had in mind while I was filming it. So I'm not always happy with the results. And then I just get caught up in my head. Honestly, all of this is just anxiety, but I get caught up in my head and then I just don't want to edit the video because it's just too much for me to deal with emotionally. And I'm really anxious. And now there's all that stuff, like all that work that hasn't been done that's fallen behind and because I feel like I can't conquer that work that's fallen behind, I don't feel like I can move forward with new work. Now, this isn't to say to fall into a pattern where if you don't like absolutely keep the chain going, then like you're doomed. Not at all, because then that's also counterproductive. This is just to say that this kind of mentality of like, I'm just going to do it now and even if this video isn't perfect and I'm not totally satisfied with it, the same way that I think Jerry Seinfeld is writing a joke a day, <laughs> I will just film a video every week and I'll edit a video every week or every second week, I don't know, sometimes I'll like bulk edit and I'll upload them and I'll put them on private and if I ever decide to make them public, they'll be public and if ever I fall into a rut where I feel like I can't create anything because of sickness or because something happened in the family, then I have all these other backup videos. But regardless, I'm not breaking the chain. I'm not saying that what I have to say isn't important enough. The subject that I want to talk about isn't developed enough. I haven't done enough research. It's just what I have is good enough. I might as well make a video. Some productivity is better than no productivity at all. And even if I don't feel well enough to film the video or I can't actually physically film a video, then I will write up my ideas. And those ideas, I'll write them. I'll be as elaborate as I want. It'll be pages and pages. 
And then one day when I'm like, man, I have time to film and I have the energy to film, but I don't really have anything that I feel like saying in particular, I'll go back and I'll read those notes that I've written at times where I had really good ideas to film, but I couldn't actually film. And then sometimes in reading those ideas, it'll give me something to make a video about on a day where I otherwise wouldn't really know what to make a video about. And sometimes I film videos that are never going to come out because sometimes I'm just rambling like I am now. Will this video ever go up? Who knows? Sometimes I film videos like this where it's not super coherent and then I rewatch the video and I'm like, well, there are some good ideas in there, but I don't like this video at all because I just, it doesn't flow well. Then I'll refilm the video. Like, it's okay. It doesn't always have to be perfect. And I think keeping some sort of consistency and not getting intimidated by the size of just getting something done is great. I've realized putting distance between myself and my productivity makes it scary. It makes it scary to make something. Even with my art, if it's been a long time since I drew something, I just feel like I can't draw anything well. And, you know, when you're drawing regularly, even if you're just doodling, sometimes your doodle will inspire you to make something bigger and make something better. Then, oops, accidentally, now I have this finished piece. Cool. So, even in just keeping that consistency and making little things, sometimes the little things are kind of like a gateway or like a little snowball and they grow from there and they inspire you to make things that you otherwise wouldn't if you are sitting aside waiting to have this great idea. Sometimes in throwing out all these mediocre ideas, it brings you to the great idea that you're waiting to have. So anyway, those are things that I've realized. Um, those are things that I'm kind of applying to my channel right now and the reason why I've been so consistent. It's like a good and bad thing. The bad thing is that now I get kind of like paranoid and really anxious if I go a week without making a video. Um, I get really scared. Even if I know I have videos lined up, I'm like, well, I edited all this stuff. Like I literally have enough videos for the next two months. I know from experience that I could get to the end of those two months and I just won't have it in me to make more videos and I don't always understand why, but I'm understanding now that part of it is just anxiety and lack of self-confidence and feeling like my ideas aren't good enough. So yeah, that's it. Sometimes if you can't be productive in the ways you want to be, being productive in other ways still helps to contribute to the ways in which you would like to eventually be productive. And that's been a really great tool for me. So that's all. That's that's it. That's that's the video, folks. I don't know. I hope that made sense. I don't know if you could tell that I haven't taken my ADHD medication today because I've been having trouble sleeping. So I figured because I'm not really doing anything particularly important today, I just won't take my medication for the day, which is fine. It's safe. My doctor has advised it. It also stops me from building up an immunity to the medication so that I don't need to keep raising it up indefinitely. So yeah, I don't know if you could tell that I haven't taken my V-Balance today, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you liked this video and it made some sort of sense. I don't know, I feel I feel like the Aaron who has taken his medication, who's going to be editing this video, is gonna be like, oh my god, can you just, it's like one run-on sentence with you. Yeah, I know, I'm so sorry. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. If you'd like me to talk more about my creative process, I like literally hate that term. <laughs> but if you'd like for me to talk more about this kind of stuff and being productive with anxiety and ADHD and all this stuff, go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. I would be happy to talk about this some more. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great week and you take care of yourselves. All right, thanks, bye.